course, parang lahat yata kami dito, we've seen your experimental and crave-worthy lumpia creations. Thank you, thank you. Can you tell us, why lumpia? Mm. Why lumpia? Lumpia, first of all, it's delicious. But second of all, as a creative, because your really your goal is really to relate with other people. So lumpia is familiar. People know lumpia. They know how it tastes like. So when you do something creative with it, which is very easy to do, because it's very versatile, they will. I don't know. But uh, I, I think sometimes I'm having too much fun, because if you've watched, naglagay ko na popcorn sa lumpia rubber. I think that's your next question. Is that the weirdest? What's the weirdest? Yeah. Yes. Naglagay ako ng popcorn kernel sa lumpia wrapper. Tapos pinili ko siya na face shield ako. That's me. <laughs> so mabuk po yung lumpia. But it's fun and that's what content is supposed to be. Yes. <laughs> All right, Abby. And like your recipes, you also combine, you know, two seemingly different interests and merge them successfully into one binge-worthy content. Diba? So there's cooking and then there's singing. Can we expect to see these two in one video in the future? Spoiler alert, definitely. Yeah! <laughs> yeah. Alright, thank you so much once again, Abby Marquez. Please put your photo off. So, first of all, I know I'm known as the Lumpia Queen, but right now, really, I'm, I want to build credibility na I can do other dishes as well. It's just Lumpia it was just really my thing to like grow, and to, I had a lot of fun with it. But in terms of staying relevant, so hindi man pwedeng Lumpia palagi, kasi nakakataba siya. <laughs> Because um, you have to stay relevant and keep creating uh, unique content. It's very competitive out there in terms of trying to stand out. So maybe as a creator, what I do right now is I try to understand my community as much as I can and uh, brainstorm ideas and create content for them na alam kong magbibigay ng value to them. Um, next would be, right now I'm, re I'm really enjoying collaborations. Um, of course, regular collaborations with my creator friends. Um, in here, Kat and Jean, and unfortunately, Juju Mao is not here yet. Hi, Kat and Jean. Um, and then next week, oh, also, uh, I will be having an upcoming collaboration with the band. Hindi ko pa reveal ngayon, but that's something to be excited about. And then, uh, meron pa ba ako sasabi? <laughs> um, uh, keeping up with trends. Um, bilang creators, trabaho din namin gamitin yung mga platforms namin to know ano pa yung uso ngayon because that easily indicates na you're you're trying to keep on pushing you uh, you're, you're, you keep on you keep pushing out content na relevant or bago. For example, ngayon uso si Barbie. So a lot of creators in my niche, they're creating pink recipes and everything like that. So ayan po, ayan po. That's all, that's the things I do as a creator. Yeah. Content creator, Thirina. Thank you so much for that question. Right now I feel really, really grateful. Because to be honest, I did not expect na magiging ganito yung career ko. I was still in my last semester in college when I started content creation. And I started it just for fun, uh, just for myself, for archiving my recipes. But um, especially with Ima, they helped me discover the opportunities that there are for people like me, the very mixed young talents in, um, in terms of like uh, cooking and then there's also filmmaking and everything like that. So right now it's so surreal. Like Christian Bautista, I've known him since I was young. And these are. <laughs> yes. so, for 40, 31 of us. I don't then, mind, I don't mind. Yes, and before I... Yes. <laughs> and then all these 
other creators beside me, before I started, they were already out there and successful and they were the people I idolized. So right now, grabe. Um, I'm just really, really excited uh, collaborate, collaborating with them and discovering what opportunity, opportunities there are for us. Yeah. Thank you, Paul.